Tonight on Who Will Rock You, it's the Nashville semifinals with performances of original songs by George Shingleton. We run that greyhound line on the way to Georgia. And Chris Ferrara and the Common Good. Raise them high, cause any summer that can be the 4th of July. Who's moving on to our season finale? We're about to find out right now. What started as a nationwide audition has been narrowed down to eight of the best unsigned bands in America. Are you ready to rock? This is Who Will Rock You, the search for America's next super group. Let's go! Shot on location at Top Golf Nashville and Las Vegas. Each week, two incredible bands will battle it out. Their goal is simple. Win over the crowd. I felt it. Did you feel it? And impress our panel of music insider judges, Bobby Bones and Maggie Rose. I want the hooks, 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 hard hooks. The last band standing walks away with 25 grand. There's more. And their very own Top Golf headline tour. The stage is set. Holy crap. And the crowd is ready. Oh, so you're feeling it? That's what we want to say. To find out. Let's do this. Who will rock you? I am here for this. Sibley Skulls, and tonight we find out who's heading to our season finale for a shot at 25 grand and their very own Top Golf headline tour. <laughs> now, make some noise for two bands who will be going head to head tonight, starting with George Shingleton <laughs> and Chris Ferrara and the Common Good. And to make things even more interesting, each of tonight's bands will be performing an original song. But only one will be heading to the finale at the end of the show. And here to help make that oh-so-important decision, say hello to our very own esteemed panel of Who Will Rock You judges, starting with a number one New York Times best-selling author and host of iHeartMedia's The Bobby Bones Show, Mr. Bobby Bones. She's an Emmy-winning songwriter who's toured with Faith Hill, Tim McGraw, and Martina McBride. Make some noise for Maggie Rose! Yeah. Maggie, as somebody who knows a little something about writing original music, tell us about how the songs we're about to hear tonight will play into your decision. These are your stories. This is how we're going to get to know about you guys. And you can tell when people are speaking their truth. And I think that when you have an original song, an opportunity to perform it, that's what you get to do. You heard her. And Bobby, what are you looking for from our bands tonight? We know you're really good. Now we're interested to see what you guys have created from inside yourself, not just have taken and changed up. So that's what I'm looking for tonight. Whew. So how about in Nashville? Are you ready to hear some music? <laughs> Then let's do this here with our first original performance of the night, trying to earn their spot in the upcoming season finale. Make some noise for George Shingleton. The original we're doing is called Greyhound of Georgia, and it's all about going home. But I think it comes from the idea of West Virginia where I want it to be. It's just a feel good, soulful, gospel-y, road tripping, like, let's get home and get in that backwoods, you know, where everybody can't see what's going on. <laughs> the Lincoln Rocky Mountain Hound Just on a smell and told a pound Wanna lay next to you, lay next to me Stand on board, on talking on the telephone. You're everything I'm missing, girl. I'm coming home, and I'll be riding that greyhound line all the way to Georgia. I can't wait to get you in my arms, so hold you. 
Singleton. It, it was really fantastic. You guys are fantastic. You guys sound great as a band. I, the background vocals, I mean, you're right on. You know, and I'm not even sure all the words that you said, but I believe them. It's honest. And I think when you write a song, that's the, the, the first layer is, do I believe what you're saying? So I, I have nothing to say except uh, nice job, good song. I'm going to read the lyrics a to z.com and see exactly what it was, but that's good stuff. Bobby is right. You guys know exactly who you are. And I feel like listening to your music is a very immersive experience. I was sitting on that Greyhound bus looking out the window at the Georgia Pines, and I was there with you guys. And I feel like I know where you come from, and I know what makes you tick. You guys are Southern rock at its finest. It's wonderful. One more time for George Shingleton. Now, here with our second performance of the night, trying to move one step closer to 25 grand and their very own Top Golf headline tour. Say hello to Chris Ferrara and the Common Good. The song we will be performing tonight is called Social, and it is basically our summer anthem. Whether you're in your backyard having a barbecue with your friends or you're out on a boat drinking with your friends or really anything that you're doing with your friends that involves alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. It's a perfect for those moments. I believe in going with the flow Long as it's headed someplace I wanna go Doing what the Romans do when I'm in Rome didn't plan on throwing down today But I'm down for anything except halfway If you want to light it off, all you gotta do is say so And I'll say hey, hey Raise them high, cause any summer night can be the 4th of July Whoa, oh, here we go again About to party like Bill Murray just walked in Say hey, hey If you're in line to fill up your cup, can you fill up mine? Cause if you're drinking to be social, then so shall I. I, I, I yeah, socialize. Well, oh, tomorrow will be hurting, but it's gonna be worth it if we party with a purpose. So let's party with. Cause any summer night can be the 4th of July Whoa, oh, here we go again About to party like Bill Murray just walked in Say, hey, hey, you're in line to fill up your cup Can you fill up mine? Cause if you're drinking to be social Then so shall I Sing it with me I, I, I yeah, socialize Yeah. Chris Ferrara and the Common Good. Nashville, how you feeling? Yeah. All right, I, I think you guys have it figured out. You're clearly living life right. You're all having fun. That's very apparent to me. I'm having fun. Yeah, he's, he's like <laughs> <laughs> smiling so big over here. Um, but you guys are awesome. It's just like, I love the accents of energy that you guys bring over in the brass section. And you all are grinning from ear to ear. You might not know it, but it's just... <laughs> It's so apparent to us that you're having fun, and I think that's wonderful. 
It's so hard to bring something original and make people go, wow, like the first time. Listen, I hear new songs every day. Every day my job is to hear new songs and it takes me a while sometimes to even hear the best songs and go, wow, that's real good. That's a really good song. Like aside from the performance, it's a really good song. So first of all, I applaud you guys for that. It's the little things that I watch for too. After you're done, I saw you lean back to the drummer and give him daps. Like that to me just shows you guys are having fun. You still like each other. That's a big thing. And that was just a really good song. So I applaud, congratulations guys. That was really great. Give it up one more time for Chris Ferrara and the Common Good. All right guys, there you have it. Both bands have had their chance to rock. And now it's up to Bobby, Maggie, and our crowd here at Top Golf Nashville to decide who's moving on to the season finale. So while they're busy deliberating, here's a quick look at how you can find out more about both of tonight's incredible bands. Somebody say hey! For Chris Ferrara and the Common Good, check out IamChrisFerrara.com. And for George Shingleton, hit up Facebook slash George Shingleton Official. I have to say, you guys both have brought it. Thank you so much for giving us music because music is food to the soul, for sure. <laughs> With that said, Maggie, I need to know your vote for tonight. You guys are both amazing. Uh, George Shingleton, you guys are unbelievable, and I can tell that there's so much experience behind what you guys are delivering on stage. Chris Ferrara and The Common Good, you guys are so much fun. I know you guys will go on to do amazing things, but I think that the people who have just put in this work and deserve to go on to the next phase is uh, George Shingleton. That is one vote for George Shingleton. Bobby, who are you voting for tonight? I mean, I think everything she said is right. I would pay money to see both of you and I don't have to pay money for shows. I have a job where everything's free. Uh, it's, it's two different styles, you know. It's, it's not apples and oranges, like a potato and a Coke can. They're so different, but they're both awesome in their own ways. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go with Christopher Ferreira and the Common Good. It's tough, it was hard for me. Woo! That means we have a split decision, and it all comes down to our audience vote, which I have right here in my hand. The band moving on to the season finale and one step closer to 25 grand and their very own Top Golf Tour is. Chris Ferrara and the Common Good! season finale out here in Nashville, Tennessee. Look at all these people looking at you, your judges. How do you feel? I feel awesome. I can't, I'm looking forward to the next round. I know my boys are too. And George, you guys are unreal. No question. <laughs> yes, guys, please give it up one more time for our winners moving on to the season finale right here. Chris Ferrara and the Common Good are moving on to the season finale, where they'll take on the winner of Crimson Riot versus The Revival. Join us next time as we get one step closer to finding out who's walking away with 25 grand and their very own Top Golf headline tour right here on Who Will Rock You. Good night, everybody.